I'm Leo Leung. I'm part of the product management team for Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Thanks so much for joining us today. Uh, I'm going to try to say something of substance for the next few minutes. Safe Harbor. So uh, I really wanted to pack the agenda getting into what the infrastructure is and what we're doing, right? I think, can I, uh, can I get a sense of how many people feel like they know anything about the Oracle Cloud? A few people? Okay. So, some of you were here a few weeks ago for the uh, Ravello Build Day, so uh, I think we briefed you a little bit. Uh, but wanted to provide a little bit of context, get into what we're doing uh, from, uh, from what we built, uh, as well as into some of the key things that we think differentiate us uh, in the market. From a performance perspective, from a data database perspective, as well as what we're doing uh, in high performance computing. So the vision behind Oracle Cloud, and this is the, 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 the set of capabilities, not just the infrastructure, is to run an entire business on the cloud. And what do I mean by that? So when you look at our, uh, we have a substantial software portfolio. I think a lot of people uh, are not aware of that or don't realize how big it is. It's about a $4.8 billion run rate business. So a significant business that's software as a service. And if you look across the set of applications, uh, it's really uh, the whole suite of back office things, right? From uh, a company that's uh, trying to manage their supply chain into how they run their business financially, the performance metrics, into how they manage their workforce, uh, how they manage their customers, that type of stuff, right? So it's the range of software as a service that's part of Oracle Cloud. When you think about platform tools, again, a very broad range of capabilities from your sort of classic application development uh, technologies, obviously Oracle database and data, data management tools, but a very, very broad range, even into content management uh, types of capabilities. And the reason why I wanted to bring these up again, when we think about uh, the cloud, we do think about the broad range of capabilities and things that our customers need to run their business. And the infrastructure is what these things run on. Okay, so we'll get into some more details about how these different capabilities leverage the underlying infrastructure. But our goal is uh, certainly to integrate all these offerings, offer them to customers, whether they want to consume them as an application layer, as a development platform or a data management service, or they want to get into the actual infrastructure and use the infrastructure. We want to be able to provide all those different entry points for customers. Because I think when you think about enterprises, they are complex. They need these different uh, types of interfaces, ways to use the technology. It's never going to be just a pure infrastructure story or a SaaS story or a platform story. We want to be able to offer all those things through the life cycle of what an enterprise needs. So a little bit about the background around uh, the cloud infrastructure. Certainly the goal was to be able to take uh, all the things that people wanted out of an infrastructure but add more enterprise uh, capabilities, things that our customers were, were asking for. So we wanted the, all the goodness about the cloud in terms of elasticity, the ability to get resources on demand, but apply additional aspects, predictability, uh, governance, the ability to really use the resources in a way that uh, an enterprise would expect, actually what they might expect on-prem in terms of their uh, Again, the amount of control and reliability they are able to build on-prem. So uh, we actually GA'd the infrastructure piece, GA'd in October 2016. Uh, we've been very busy since then. Uh, we know that we uh, have a lot of features and capabilities that we have to build uh, in order to be credible in the market, and that we actually have to not only release capabilities, but increase our rate of building and releasing capabilities to customers. So just a sampling of what we've been working on, uh, just to give you a flavor. So uh, a lot of what we've done since the beginning was to architect uh, the proper foundation. And that's what Pradeep's gonna talk about. Um, over the last year and a half uh, that I've been with the group has been setting the foundation, right? Getting some of the core services uh, that we needed uh, out to customers as well as to the rest of the product groups within Oracle. So your, your base foundational things around compute, around database, around storage. Uh, going forward, uh, we're moving up the stack. Uh, so providing that integration into 
the other Oracle products that are offered, providing that integration to third parties uh, and partners, right? So they can build on top of Oracle. Um, I'm happiest when I hear that customers are building their applications or their business on top of our cloud, right? So that's what I mean by moving into the next layer, moving into the next layer of services. We've set the foundation, the primitives in terms of infrastructure. Now it's time to get into the, the next layer. Uh, a few use cases to focus on. So uh, while you may hear uh, uh, comments about you know, how we're going to market or the competition, we're actually very focused uh, in terms of the kinds of customers and use cases we're, we're, we're targeting. Uh, first, I'm not gonna use the LNS word. I, I heard people don't like that word or that term, um, but uh, it is very much about enterprises. Uh, there's huge amounts of workloads that are still on-prem. Uh, we think we have, a, we have a part to play in terms of providing those customers with the right infrastructure to run on. That's still a huge problem, right? Uh, in terms of real workloads, back office workloads, mission critical workloads moving, that's a huge focus for us. Uh, high performance computing. So uh, it's a niche, but it's a $10 billion plus niche uh, in terms of customers using infrastructure for high performance needs, high performance computing, as well as some of the newer facets around AI and machine learning. And then the last bucket, which we won't have time to cover today, is around the, the pure cloud types of applications. Um, if uh, if uh, what we cover today uh, satisfies you guys, uh, happy to, to go into that next time around. Okay, so just, uh, I went through the agenda super quickly, so we're gonna have uh, Pradeep, talk about our architecture, get into depth, um, hopefully has some time to do some whiteboarding as well for questions. We're going to have Lee go over performance engineering. So uh, a lot of the work we've done around is to optimize performance and have very, very high predictable performance. We're going to have Sean talk about uh, our database cloud and our offerings there. Um, again, that's a big piece of what we're going after in the market. And then we're going to have Karan uh, talk about our high performance computing initiatives.